Hello. Welcome to my Halloween movie tier list. Now I know Halloween passed. It was Monday. I missed it. Couldn't get a Halloween special out in time. So think of this as a replacement. We have every single Halloween movie here. And I'm going to go down the list based on my ranking of the movies. So obviously we got the I Love It tier for the best movies in the franchise. Or the ones I absolutely adore. We got good for the film that was for the films that were pretty good. Can't lie. We got meh. We got meh, which is for the movies that were a bit iffy. And it was pretty boring to pretty entertaining altogether. We got bad for a movie that sucked. It was just boring or bad. And then we got a complete shit tier. We got the complete shit poopy tier for the worst films of the franchise. And dear God, there are a lot of them. Oh, I know there are a lot. Anyway, I feel like we need to begin with the first movie in the franchise, I Love It. It was a beautiful film. I did my rankings on TikTok. This was the number one movie on that list. This was the best. This is movie perfection, horror perfection. It timed everything just right. It was beautiful. It was gorgeous. It was a beautiful movie. But I still get, didn't get scared. That's a thing with me. I can't get scared for some reason. That's a problem that I hope to resolve at some point. But right now, it's I love it. Then we get to Halloween 2. It's sequel. The sequel that revealed that Laurie and Michael were siblings. And I I mean, it's a, it's okay. It's It's okay. They kind of just dropped that bombshell on us just randomly in the movie. Like, oh, by the way, they're siblings. Just so that you know, for the time being, that they're siblings. Okay, but... Alright. Yeah, they were siblings. They were siblings, alright. They acted like siblings. There's no doubt about that. Then we get to Halloween 3, which is complete shit. Yes, our first complete shit tier movie. Well, let's get to the obvious first. There's no Michael Myers. In a Michael Myers predominantly featured franchise. He would be the focus of the franchise going forward, by the way. Yes, he would. As a matter of fact, they tried to do something different with this film. They wanted to do the original vision for the franchise. Which was... Uh, it was doing horror movies, but horrifying things happen on Halloween. Problem is, is now that would have been an interesting franchise. Had you not done a sequel with Michael Myers, had this film right here not come out, this would have been fine. If this was the second film, I mean, it would it was a bad movie. So it would look like it would go in bad tier, but because it didn't have Michael right here, and they tried experimenting when these two were just fine. And they did two films with Michael, and then they tried to do something else. Everyone came to see Michael. Michael Myers was what got popular. Halloween did the concept of horrifying things happening on Halloween didn't get popular. It was Michael Myers, let's just face it. Look, look over here. It was Michael. Then we get to Halloween 4, which we're back on the mat track. We're back on the mat track. Halloween 2 is still higher than higher than 4. However, Michael Myers, it was revealed that Michael Myers was in the coma, and then we revealed that this didn't happen in our franchise. This film never existed. That's the thing, is that the timeline split right around 3, and 3 was his own little movie. I would take up the whiteboard and write down the entire timeline, but that would take too damn long to do. So, let's just continue. Halloween 4 was a meh movie. We get back to where we were. We brought Michael Myers back. But other than that, the rest of the film was boring. 
It was going bad, but they brought back Michael, so... Uh, I'll put it in meh for now. Another thing about this movie is that Laurie Strode was dead before the movie began. Yeah. He died, she died before the movie could start. This takes place ten years in the future. Which... The film came out almost ten years after... Well, not really almost ten years. Halloween 2 came out in 81 and... Halloween 4 came out in 88. It, the film takes place 10 years in the future where Michael here wakes up from a coma. So that's where he was. And that is revealed that Lori died and she had a daughter and that's who he's going after. How many fucking kids does she have in this fucking franchise? Anyway, the rest of the movie was bland other than the story plots anyway on to our next movie Halloween 5 The Revenge of Michael Myers this is a bad movie I mean we got through the excitement of Michael Myers returning you'd think they tried to add more to it in Halloween 5 nope almost like the it's like they're almost the same movie the only reason I rank 4 above 5 is because Michael this was the film where Michael came back and Michael was since we celebrated Michael coming back, we expected more. We didn't get more. We got less. We got a more boring story with more boring characters. We did not need that. We wanted good things, and we didn't get them. Because, direct, because Hollywood hates us. They do. Don't even say they don't. Anyway, on to the next film in the franchise. Curse of Michael Myers. Another very bad movie. I put it right here. Right there. Because here's the thing about Curse of Michael Myers. It was a boring movie from the beginning. I would put it in complete shit, but Paul Rudd was in it. So it, it that spares it. Was that Paul Rudd was in it. And dude does not age. Let's just face it. Paul Rudd cannot age. Like He has not aged a day since 1995 <laughs> seriously dude can't age you, you have to admit it so but this also concludes our original timeline we had the five films of the original timeline and seasonal which was just alone it, it was just alone so what do we do now well we make a new timeline the timeline splits after two. This time, Laurie Strode lives in Halloween H2O. And where I'd pla th place this? Don't be surprised. I place it above four. I go. I put it in meh. The reason I put H2O on meh is because... Though we get Jamie Lee Curtis back as Laurie Strode. Yes, that's good. It's most of the movie's boring. That's not good. The kills were pretty good. That's good. The scene where Laurie and Michael come face to face after 20 years, that's incredible. So, but even that leads to a meh movie. A meh installment into the franchise. So, yeah. We're going in depth here. Something I couldn't do on TikTok because I was limited to three minutes. <laughs> and then we get to Halloween Resurrections, which is complete shit. <laughs> in my opinion, it's the worst movie in the fucking franchise. <laughs> the reason I say it's the worst is because, let's face it, the only good scenes in this film are when Jamie Lee Curtis and Michael are on screen together. And then when they kill her off, there's nothing to look forward to. Buster Rhymes sucks. The rest of the movie sucks. And it's quite agreeable. That's I'd say it's worse than 3. And 3 didn't even have Michael. I'd say that. Alright, so we get to the next movie in the franchise. <laughs> I just want to step away from this before I go on a fucking rant because... Let's face it, I will. We get to the first remake, the Rob Zombie remake, which is meh 
It's meh. It's, I put it above four, but below H two O. That's where I put. Some people say this is the second best film in the franchise. This is the second best Michael Myers Halloween movie. I disagree. I think it's like fifth. Fifth of best. That work for you guys? Yeah. I mean, Rob Zombie tried because this was the only one he wanted to do. Rob Zombie wanted to give you Michael Myers, but different in his own vision, while also laying true to the source material. Staying true to the source material. I mean, he kills his sister. Kills his stepdad, I guess. Is that his stepdad or his real dad? I'm not sure. I blacked out and I'm kidding. Um, yeah, he does that stuff. And then... He gets put in an asylum, which is like the movie. However, we don't see how, in the original film, we don't see what led to him killing. Apparently, he was being bullied in this one. That's what led to him killing. The first, like, 20 to 30 minutes of this movie is just the prologue to when Michael becomes big and strong and e eaten all his vegetables and his meats and gotten swole. He's been taking time in the weight area out in the courtyard getting swole and actually yeah he also kills Danny Trejo that's another thing you might want to point out I mean a staple in Rob Zombie movies Rob Zombie puts his wife as a character in this one it's Michael's mom who also shoots herself in the head <laughs> and then we saw baby Lori cry and then you know, the events of Halloween 1 take place. Like normal. Yeah, it's a, a meh movie. And then we get to his, set, his, his, his very shitty sequel, which I put as the second worst film in this franchise. The reason I put it as the second worst, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, as the second worst film in this franchise is because... One, Rob Zombie didn't want to make it. Uh, from what I read, he didn't want anything to do with it. He was forced to do it because the first film did so well. Because it was, of course it was going to do well. It's a remake to a classic. All remakes, to, all remakes to classics end up doing well, even if they're bad. It was meh, the, that Halloween. But Halloween 2 was shit because Rob Zombie was forced to do it. And he went, you know what? You want to force me to do it? Fine. I'm just going to do whatever the fuck I want. And that's exactly what he did. Some weird ass shit happens in this movie. Michael Myers eats a dog. Literally. And then... Some bullshit happens. <laughs> I mean, the events of the second film happen. As how you thought. Michael invades the hospital, but then other shit happens. A shack is involved. And then he kills Loomis, and then Lori kills him. Hell, throughout a majority of the... He only has the mask on for a, a good beginning of the film, then he ditches it. And now all of a sudden he's a fucking bearded lumberjack. <laughs> no, he's a bearded homeless man, that's what he was. He became a hobo. And we did not like that. Us fans did not like that. Anyway, up next we get to 2018's Halloween. The 2018 film. This is a good movie. This is a really good movie. The reason I say is because after Hall this Halloween 2, no one wanted to see Michael on the screen again. And then we got this. And then we found out that Jamie Lee Curtis was coming back as Laurie in a new timeline where she wasn't revealed as a sister. Meaning this film takes place after the events of 40 years after the event after the events of the first one. The second one doesn't take place. The hospital stuff doesn't take place. So, Michael was captured and put in the asylum. So yeah, this film actually has done well. I'm surprised. To my knowledge, from when I watched it a few days ago, we get less dog killing and eating. And we get more, apparently, Michael killing children in this trilogy. Yeah, he, he does that quite a bit. That's that's pretty controversial, but... 
It's a it's a movie. What do you? It, it, at least it didn't happen in real life. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, the film actually is really good. Like, I highly recommend it to if you were just getting into the franchise. I do recommend this because this is the second best Halloween movie. Of course, the original being the best. And this Halloween, actually, not bad. But these two we're about to get into. Now we get to the cream of the crop. Halloween Kills. Oh, dearie me. Where did I put that on my ranking? I know I put it as a bad movie, because it is. Um... I put it right above Curse, but below 5. Halloween Kills is right there. from Because I ranked these movies as well on TikTok. So, this is where I put Kills. The reason I put Kills here is because it had a good premise. Parents get... The adults get pissed. So, I try going after Michael. That's a good premise, don't you think? Shame, it's executed so poorly. They get picked off one by one. And then when they finally surround Michael, they're beating him down. Michael gets up and just kills them all. And then he kills Lori's daughter. Leaving only Lori and her granddaughter alive. Oh, dearie me. Yes, I know. It's a bad movie, but people I know have, fun, have had fun with it. What they didn't have fun with was Halloween Ends. Which I put right here. This is supposed to be the end of the franchise. Like, they're not supposed to make any more movies after this. But I don't believe that one bit. I know damn well that Hollywood's gonna remake it. Because, of course, they're gonna fucking remake it. It's Hollywood. They remake everything. Okay? And then you'll go, oh, when was the last time we got an Elm Street or Friday the 13th movie? The Friday the 13th stuff is complicated. There's lawsuits involved in that one. And Elm Street, no one wants to touch it after 2010, but... Let's face it, once it get once that film is long forgotten, they're gonna remake it. Anyway, um Ends was completely bad. It was no good. Ends was the redheaded stepchild that no one wanted. But has to take care of because it's supposed to be the last one. This is the moment in the sex where the condom breaks and then all of a sudden unexpected pregnancy that you didn't want. And then all the abortion clinics are shut down and you can't abort it. And it's too late to, and you have to have it. That's what Halloween Ends is. Halloween Ends... I mean, they kill off Michael Myers to the point where... Yeah, he ain't getting up from getting thrown in that fucking wood chipper, ain't he? I mean, everything is... His guts are everywhere. His guts, his brains, everywhere. Yeah, he ain't getting up from that. That's if he wasn't dead from the throat slit, the wrist slit. I mean, come on. When his arm got broken by Allison. I mean... They try a couple times to kill off Michael Myers in this film... And then it's the wood chipper that does it, which I'm pretty sure would kill most men, or women, or anyone, actually. Anything. Any living thing will die in that wood chipper. Um, Halloween Ends was a bad film and a bad end to the franchise. Meaning, in a about a decade or two, they're going to remake it. Anyway... That's an end to Jamie Lee Curtis's run in the franchise because they're not going to do a 60 year later timeline. They did a 20, they did a 40. They're not going to do a 60 because by then Jamie Lee Curtis will probably would have sadly have passed away by then. And we ain't doing no 60 year timeline. We ain't waiting two more decades, goddammit. We ain't doing a 50 year timeline. 50 years later timeline either. Either you're going to have to remake it or this is it. Because Jamie Lee Curtis ain't doing this shit again. <laughs> anyway. This is my tier list. Of. 
every Halloween movie I have put into this tier list. We got one for... We got four completely shit ones, which is Resurrection, Halloween 2, the Rob Zombie version, Halloween Ends, and Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. We got the bad movies, Curse of Michael Myers, which is the sixth one, Halloween Kills, Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. We got four meh movies. We got Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers, Halloween, the first one from Rob Zombie, Halloween H2O, Halloween 2, the original one. We got the one good movie, which is the 2018 one, and the one perfect movie that I absolutely love, Halloween, the original 1978 version. This is your tier list. If you disagree and you want to leave hate comments, I don't give a shit. Because these are my opinions, and let's face it, everyone's entitled to their own opinions. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Please, like, subscribe, maybe. Because we're going to do more tier lists on popular movie franchises in the future. I know I got a Rocky one planned, an MCU one planned. I got uh, Friday the 13th and fucking Elm Street planned. Basically, all the franchises, big franchises that I've reviewed... In, I got an Alien vs. Predator franchise planned with all of their movies. Basically, all the movies I have planned are big franchises. Those are the only ones I'm going to do for tier lists. And basically, I, but the criteria is I had to have watched them and reviewed them on my TikTok account. Follow me there. Link in description. Please. <laughs> I'm lonely. Anyway, take care, you guys.